Hello, my name is Josh. I'm Peter. And we are going to explore the growing issues of piracy in the UK and how this has had an effect on UK cinema attendances. Our goal is to change people's views on piracy and unravel the real effects of this issue. It is widely reported that the film industry is losing £170 million a year. <sighs> because less people are going to the cinema and more people are choosing to download at home. Cinema sentences being at decline might not sound much of an issue to you, but it's for the people who work in the cinema, such as the audience. It not only has a negative impact on cinemas, but those who have created that particular film, such as the production companies in the UK and US. With this in mind, as media and film students, yeah. we have decided to explore why the younger generation are choosing to download illegally. Could this be due to the cinema becoming more expensive? Or is it simply that they are unaware of the impact film theft is having on the industry? Watch on and find out. Today, we're at World to Collegiate. We're going to be talking about issues surrounding piracy and talking to some of the media students. We'll be talking uh, to the college students about what their views are on piracy and also looking at the impact on piracy on cinemas and how it has affected them in the industry. Come and take a look inside our come college. Come on, come on, come on forward. Yes, I, I do download films dodgily, shall we say. Yeah. yeah, I used to when I was younger, but now I've stopped doing that. Yeah, I do, I'll be honest. Sometimes, yeah. I can't be bothered actually going to the shop and paying money, which I don't have, for films. It's so much cheaper and doesn't waste as much time. I had an issue with some dodgy downloads onto viruses. Well, I think well, it, it's a lot cheaper than buying them on DVDs because it's free, obviously. Um, not intentionally free, but it certainly is. Uh, sometimes, just generally because it's easier, I think. It's more convenient, it's quicker, and uh, saves a lot of time. What would stop me is uh, someone come knocking on my door and saying, don't be doing that anymore or else we'll get you. That, that would certainly scare me straight and not have me uh, doing any uh, illegal downloading anymore. Yeah. Stop me downloading illegally would be if things were cheaper. Definitely a form of prison sentence or a fine. No, definitely go to the cinema. It's a much more immersive experience than uh, sitting at home on your laptop with a fairly low quality dodgy copy. Cinema is just something else. I mean, you can watch it at home on your screen or the cinema is just a completely different experience. I think things, if, I think things should be cheaper. And I think if things were cheaper, we would definitely not have to pirate. So I'm not happy with pirating. I'd much rather buy stuff. I'm here today at the Odeon to discuss the growing issues of piracy in the UK and the effect that it has on cinemas. We're going to be talking to the Odeon manager himself and finding out his views on piracy and how it affects has affected cinemas in the UK. I'm gonna go, come and take a look inside, come on. Hi, my name is Darren Minchell. I'm a cinema manager at the Odeon Warrant. It's had a small impact on uh, the cinema going. Um, however, the cinema experience is still the cinema experience that everyone wants to come to see. We've never had any um, piracy issues at this site. Uh, we have a really strong control on it. Um, regular screen checks and also night vision goggles available to us. Um, we counteract it by using our fact posters. We've got them all around the cinema, £500 reward um, for everyone that's reported and also when, when they um, get reported to the police. Um, so, and we also do regular screen checks. We're, we're a strong believer of stamping out um, piracy at this site, so we're going forward with it. I think the cinema is still the experience everyone wants to come to see. Um, the quality of the sound, the image, um, and also the development of technology going forward with digital. Um, you don't get that sharpness at home on your, your TV, you get it in the cinema screen. Cinema's always going to be around. I don't think cinema's ever going to fall. Um, maybe a reduction in a few sites here and there, but I don't think cinema will ever go away. People will still love the experience of the cinema going. I don't like piracy uh, myself. I'm a strong believer on pay for if you want to pay for it. Um, it's out there, people love the experience of it, and I don't want to download anything at all. 
Yeah, I'm Callum Stevens. Um, I started off just as a team member before being promoted to projectionist, but unfortunately, um, they all got made redundant. So um, I'm just going back as a seasonal team member again. Um, I'm not sure if it's Odie in itself, but filmmakers and potentially distributors um, are making a lot of stuff in 3D. Uh, like iSense, D-Box, all that stuff. Um, just trying to heighten the experience so you have to go to the cinema rather than download it at home because you don't get them services there. I think there's been 15 films that have all reached a billion pound in the last decade, which has never been seen before. Could be inflation, but to me, sales are still going strong. I do download them, and I don't feel that good about it because one, I work at a cinema, and two, I study media, film, and television. So I'm kind of hindering my own future career, which I shouldn't be doing. <laughs>